jobs from you know about you know, guys aren't taking what you know we do in practice to game. Do you feel like you did a good job of that you know, this past weekend? Um, in some cases, it, not as uh, not as consistently as I'd want it to. We, I thought we took a step back offensively. We didn't. Uh, um, too many mistakes offensively, especially early on, really hurt us in the first half. We didn't play very efficiently offensively in the first half, and um, I, like I've said before, Montgomery didn't have his best game, but um, we didn't play real well around him either. But uh, defensively, we took a step, but still not up to the level that I'd like to see it, and we'll keep keep going. Jordan, you feel the communication has improved? Well, I, I don't know if it ever gets to the point where, you, where you'd like it. I thought it was uh, like there were a couple times where, you know, we didn't, we did, we were on the same page defensively, um, because once again they, you know, two guys are communicating or giving themselves hand signals and they're not filling the other guys in. Uh, um, I always say that if we're all doing the same thing, you can play anything. But if you got two, you know, guys doing different things or seeing it differently, and there's no communication, and you're gonna have a problem. And a couple of times that happened, and we did, it didn't hurt us, um, but it, it'll hurt us. You know, we we kind of were fortunate in a couple of situations. Chris has been here talking, and uh, you know, he's a guy who's been in a tough position at safety, uh, he played corner, and then he transitioned. He was talking about some of the responsibilities that come along with playing that position, knowing that all our different people are doing it. You know, do you feel like he's getting into a point where where you know, he's comfortable out there and you're comfortable with him out there? Yeah, I'm very I'm comfortable. I think he's played well. I think that uh, the biggest, probably his biggest uh, challenge is, the vo is being vocal and communicating and making sure. I think he know, pretty much knows what he's got to do. He's got to get the... Um, you know, he. I think he's comfortable enough. Hopefully, he's going to take that next step and and take charge out there, especially on his side. Um, but he he's played pretty good football for us. Do you like the pairing of you know Crispin and, and uh, Crenshaw together? Right now, it, it, uh, you know, I think that. Uh, yeah, I don't think either one of them is a finished product. I think Crispin's a little bit further ahead of Devin Air right now, and um, Jakar is starting to. Uh, understand it better and he's playing better in practice and Avery is uh you know same he's getting a little more comfortable back there so um just got to keep him coming along obviously South Dakota State and then Willie Long about more what you do but one of the better quarterbacks in the league is Christian he's a good player he's a good he's uh he's elusive he's athletic he can make all the throws um you know he's a good football player I mean he's I think he has the league record for most touchdown passes um, all time, and uh, he's a good player. You know, they have two good receivers last year, and two guys who went to NFL teams. Have they changed much about that um, a, a little bit. Um, obviously, they were doing some certain things to feature those guys um, that maybe have, have – they've, you know, I think, you know, what they do is they – you know, you got some different guys, and – you know different strengths, and you got to play the year to the strengths of who you have. I think they do that well. I mean, they're a well-coached football team, and uh, um, so there are certain things that they did a lot of last year that you don't see quite as much of, and or maybe you see a concept that they're using a different guy to run that concept um, to get a different guy the football. But uh, you know, it's a very similar offense to what it has been, but they, they've tweaked some things, and uh, um, they do a nice job. Yeah, they they uh, they do a nice job running the ball. They you know they I think they understand that you know they understand uh, um, how to combine the running game and the passing game, and uh, um, how to uh, complement each how how they complement each other. I think they do a nice job of that. They have a good understanding of of what they want to do and the you know how you know what binds they want to put you in. Uh, um, you got to be on point, and everybody's got to you know be in the right spots. Anybody 
talked about it a whole lot with the church bond, it seems like every time there's an application for it back then, uh, you know, policies developed and everything keeps changing. I think he's playing well. I think he's been a leader. I think he's uh, he's playing hard. I think overall, I mean, I mean, I think Shreve's played well. We've played well up front, and uh, um, our front four has played pretty good football. And uh, you know, we uh, that's been uh, that's been a pretty a, a constant over the first uh, over the first month month or so of the season. Those guys have played well. Donald's, you know, Coach Delicio is a heck of a young coach and a really good football coach. He's done a nice job with those guys. It's supposed to be called in, in 42, and I know you can't control the weather, but are you trying to prepare for that in a way to go to Watson? It's kind of hard when it's 80 degrees. <laughs> um, so if you got some fans, some cold fans, no. Now, you, you know, you can't – I don't know what it is out there right now. I'm sure they're they're probably not – it's probably not 40s there right now. Maybe it is. I don't know. But, um, you know, so, you know, whatever the temperature is, we'll be ready to go. Well, you just have to have a, uh, you know, a philosophy. I mean, obviously, you learn over time. I know Brian; he's called plays before in the past, and um, but he hasn't for a few years. And um, you got to know what you want to do, and uh, and then obviously you got to be able to make adjustments and see what the, what's happening during the flow of the game and be ready to adjust. You know, adjust to the the type of football game it is. Um, the, you know what the situation is you know sometimes I go in you know I mean I've called a lot of games and you go in thinking one thing and all of a sudden the game the flow of the game isn't what you thought you know it was a, it becomes a different football game and obviously you got to adjust accordingly or um, maybe according to what the opponent's doing according to what maybe the other side of the balls are doing there there's a lot of things that go into it there's a feel for it you got to have to develop for it and uh but at the end of the day, you go in and you, you prepare all week, and uh, you, you hope to just be able to stick with your with your plan. And exa- you know, but there there's a, there's a feel that comes with that as far as uh, being able to make adjustments along the way. So how, how difficult is it? Like last week, and I don't know when you found out the quarterback wasn't going to play, and you had a different guy to make those adjustments. You know, when it's before game time, is that? Yeah, we you know, obviously had, that uh, threw us for a loop. I mean, to, to say the least, it was a lot different. Um, the the and you know the, there's there's one right there where I went in thinking I was gonna um, you know fee, you know do certain things, especially on third down, and um, and then I I the flow of the game was one where um, where I, I my plan changed on the fly. And, uh, um, you know, for a lot of different reasons, but, uh, um, it was, it was a little bit that the, the game was different than what I thought it was going to be going in to say the least. And, uh, it, so, um, I called it differently than probably I, I thought I would have the whole week. Did you, uh, see, see some improvements in the run game? You know, it wasn't. Spectacular, but at the end of the game, you didn't run football to close it out. Yeah, because at the end of the game, we didn't make, we didn't bust. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of missed assignments early on. We we uh, you know, in the in the in the especially in the run game, but you know, in the passing game as well. A couple times on on some of our RPO our run pass options that uh, um, we ran a couple different wrong routes. We but we targeted the wrong guys. We we did some things that. Uh, hurt us that took us out of drives and uh and left some <laughs> what i think could have been some big plays out there and uh but we that's that's uh the frustrating aspect of it um you know because we weren't very efficient offensively we didn't play well offensively i mean that, that, that was obvious but in the, at the end of the game we were able to to get some runs and 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 do some things and it was because we controlled ourselves better and uh, and you know gave our backs some space to to run. Last year was a dominating game by your offense, only gave the ball for forty-seven minutes. 
and go back, obviously you go back and look at that. And yeah, and they have too. They'll make their adjustments, and they have. Um, I'm sure they're, you know, they've been hearing about it for a year. They'll, they'll be prepared, and that's why I told our guys. I said, understand, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna be, uh, you know, they're gonna be ready, and you got to be ready. We got to, you know, prepare right now, and and uh, and have a great week of preparation, and understand that, uh, um, you know, they've been hearing about the, the, the physicality that we brought at them last year, and all that, and I'm sure they're gonna be, you know. They're, you know, if you're a competitor, you're going to take that to heart, and I, I expect their football team to be ready to go, and uh, so we better be ready to go in the, in the same right, and we will, we'll be ready. It'll be, it should be a good football game. Coach, uh, the one loss and the disappointed. Disappointed, not surprised though. I didn't think they were playing very well going in. So. Maybe they will be ready for the cold. <laughs> for Saturday or today? today. Uh, what are we supposed to have Saturday? Saturday? Rain? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the weather while I can. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.